Hi, Mary here. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a very simple and quick uh, way of making a uh, pillow cover or a cushion cover. Uh, you know, sometimes you have those old pillows or cushions lying around that you don't uh, really want anymore, but you don't want to go buy or spend money on new ones. So uh, what I'll often do is just take some fabric and just recover them so that I will like them again. And uh, it's, yeah, not hard to do, or I don't think it is. If you're at all handy with a sewing machine, of course, you'd need that. But, um, yeah, I will share that with you. I'm just back here in my little corner. This is the back end of our living room. And it's, uh, yeah, it's not like a separate dream studio or anything like that. But I, I like my little corner here. I spend a lot of time here. And I think the best part about it is that I have these big double windows that I can look outside. Um... I can look back there and I, my little greenhouse is right outside and I also have a little pond back there um, that usually has a waterfall going. I haven't set that up this year yet, but I want to do that soon. And uh, you know, this time of the year is always my favorite with everything turning green and the birds are singing and I even have some spring peepers back here. If it's really cloudy out there or in the evening and early morning, you know, they'll be singing. And um, so yeah, I just feel thankful to be able to, to work in a place like this. So. It almost feels like I'm outside, so it's the, the next best thing. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and zoom the camera in and uh, just quickly share with you guys uh, how I make these covers. And uh, if any of you have any tips or anything, I love to hear from you. I love to hear about any tips that can make anything easier or just another way of doing something. We can always learn. So um, I guess that's why I have this channel. I hope to be an inspiration to you guys and... But yet again, I love to yeah hear from, from you all too. So um, yeah, let's get started and we'll see how it goes. I found this fabric at a local fabric outlet store here in our area. And I knew right away when I saw it that I wanted to, to get it to make uh, you know pillow covers for my Etsy shop. So uh, I ended up buying the whole bolt uh, because they do have a lot of discontinued fabric there. And I knew they might not you know have it in stock much longer. So, um, yeah, I just took it all, and I just thought it was beautiful with the farmhouse -y look to it. And um, the size I often go by is Walmart has these inserts. They're 18 by 18 inches, you know, they're square. And um, if you do, you know, if you make a cover for any ins insert, in this case it would be 18 inch square, um, I always cut my fabric exactly 18 by 18 also. That way, Everything will fit nice and tight, and the pillow will be, you know, puffier. Uh, if you cut it too much larger, you'll have some loose fabric on the sides, and I don't think that looks as nice. So uh, that's what I'll be cutting this piece here is 18 by 18. Okay, so I decided to use just a plain white fabric for the back of the cushion cover. Um, that way it'll save my limited supply of the print fabric. And I cut two pieces that are that are 18 by 11 inches. Okay, so the next step is I usually take the square of fabric um, that I want for my front of the cover and lay it uh, on the table like this with the, the nice side up. Um, and then I find the, the side of the fabric that I want to have on the outside and I put that facing the outside, facing down. So you have the nice side to the nice side, you know, facing each other like this. And I lay everything down. And same with the second piece. I find that there's hardly any difference here, but I can tell there's just a little bit of variation there on the sides. Um, lay that down, make sure everything's nice and even. Then I pin it into place here. And then it's ready to be stitched together. Okay, so I gave it about a half inch seam all along the edges. And as you can see, these pieces are overlapped here on the back, probably by about you know three to three and a half inches here. I don't know if you can tell by that, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trim some of these corners down a little and turn it inside out.
Okay, so wouldn't that make a nice pillow for a farmhouse style home? Um, I like how it turned out and I hope I inspired you guys to you know try something like this on your own. It was really really easy and uh, yeah the cover can of course be removed for washing and um, so yeah I'm going to have this cover available on my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing it and again you would just be getting the cover not the actual insert. Um, I know Walmart has those inserts for six dollars and some cents I think so they're not really really expensive um, but yeah thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of the week you all